Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. We finally got a little break in the smoky air. We have so many forest fires here in Western Canada. It's ridiculous. Very, very polluted air. But today, we've got a little bit of break, at least here, for the time being. I'll take it. Anyway, getting to the topic of today. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Other people are saying it. I know some of you are thinking it, and I'm definitely going to say it. You ever noticed how Karen's in training become the master Karens later in life. <laughs> it's funny how it, it's like an apprenticeship program for Karens. You know, first they're uh, entered apprentice, <laughs> a, little, a little Masonic reference there. <laughs> and then they progress through to uh, master Karen. <laughs> well, I guess it is a learning process how to um, perfect your craft <laughs> as a Karen. And the, the entire debacle about Unstoppable Morgan and how she's behaving at the age of 37 with her recent arrest for extortion in Reno. And then we, we look and we follow people like Carolyn's RV life. They have a lot of similarities, uh, issues with alcohol, issues with anger, issues with men. And it's pretty easy to predict that Unstoppable Morgan is heading in the same direction as Carolyn's RV life has headed. And it's it's not pretty and it's 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 a warning that she should heed. And I know Carolyn and her friendlies they watch all my videos. They're always auditing me. <laughs> so it, there there is always hope for both Carolyn and Unstoppable Morgan. But it takes the ability to realize, hey, I'm doing something wrong. I keep making the same mistakes. My anger levels towards society has not improved. My lifestyle hasn't improved. And my satisfaction in life is just stagnant and probably in retrograde. So, um, so we, when we take a look <clears throat> at how this happens, it's generally because you could actually be a very smart individual like Unstoppable Morgan. And even for whatever faults uh, Carolyn's RV life has, she is an actually intelligent person. I'm going to give both of them credit for that. Uh, Unstoppable Morgan, obviously a lot more creative than Carolyn is, but uh, creativity is not a gift that uh, everybody has in the same doses or in the same uh, topics, I guess. But nonetheless, they're both intelligent women, quite capable of doing a lot with their lives, but yet they throw it away. I've seen it in men too, just to be fair, this is not a gender issue at all. Sometimes when I've um, been around people that are incredibly intelligent but extremely lazy, so they get, the, they get the intelligence gene and the lazy gene at the same time and it really messes with their life. <laughs> now, when uh, you are a Karen in training, it's probably a good time to stop right there on the career with the, the, the Karen Hood. <laughs> For example, Unstoppable Morgan, if you were just to type in, oh, sorry, we got a lot of uh, industrial action going on uh, up the valley. Pardon me for that. Um, if you were to type in on the search engine of YouTube, Karen <laughs> Ice Cream Truck Florida, you're going to see a whole bunch of videos of Unstoppable Morgan, how she went Karen. And she's 37. Imagine how bad it's going to be <laughs> when she's the age of, Car uh, of of Carolyn's RV life. Now, Carolyn's RV life, uh, it would be very difficult for her to be in a viral video where she goes full Karen because she's like avoiding people, hates people, all this, always hiding in the desert and in the forest. But ironically, Carolyn's RV life creates her own Karen videos that she produces herself, which I've always thought is just so crazy. If you were going to blow a gasket and start ranting about, uh, you know, the male-dominated patriarchy and how much you hate men and how much you hate conservatives and blah, 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 you know, the long list of grievances of life, <laughs> and you're going to blow a gasket and act like a Karen, why would you stick a camera in front of your face to embarrass yourself? Like, 
It's like you're selling your own dignity for a few dollars of YouTube ad revenue money. It's really stupid, and it is not a prudent thing to do. Now, I, I've, I've given so many talks on many videos to help provide Carolyn's RV life with prudent, conservative advice. And I've never given her any bad advice. You can audit all my videos where I talk about it. I never tell her to do anything that would not be in her best interest or that would not assist her in having a really um, productive life and a happy life. Because wh why would I do that? I've got no reason to, um, to give her bad advice. But I think she doubles down because <laughs> if she was to ever admit, wow, line screw one is so correct. And I am so doing it wrong. And I really shouldn't act like a Karen. And I really shouldn't hate on you know, entire groups of individuals and then rant in front of a camera over it. I really shouldn't do that. If she, if she has this mind process and this thought process, what she'd be doing is admitting that a man is correct, namely me. And, and she can't do that. She cannot admit that. Like, for example, if, if I did a math equation, and I did it on, uh, on, on video, and I made an error, <clears throat> and Carolyn pointed out my mathematical error. I would not be angry at her. I would say, oh, thank you. Thank you. I made an error in my calculations. Thank you for pointing it out. I am now a better mathematician. Well, the same could be true for her being an RV influencer. I don't even know if she's influencing anybody anymore. She's more de-influencing. <laughs> Um, so she, she doesn't really show much gratitude for really good sound conservative uh, advice and uh, the failure to launch is is a common denominator between both Carolyn's RV life and unstoppable Morgan they haven't they haven't launched uh, meaning that they haven't uh, been able to be a, a fulfilling housewife you know raise children uh, for, form a, f a stable family um, that uh, survives the test of time and uh, you know, held firm to working on that pension and a uh, career and um, stability and roots in a neighborhood and all these kinds of things that most people want. So strangely enough, I'm really concerned that Morgan is just gonna be Carolyn in 20 years because that's the way it looks like it's headed. And the only way it can be stopped because I know Morgan's probably really stewing now when her uh, income has now dropped to virtually nothing with her YouTube channel down and her Patreon down. She's really going to have to have a come to Jesus moment or a, uh, a really serious self reflection moment where she says, hey, you know, all the anger, all the craziness, all the drinking, it's really not helping me. No, in fact, it's hurting me. It's putting me years behind where I should be. And eventually for Morgan, which has kind of happened to, to Carolyn, you know, the, the years take their toll, the miles take their toll. You hit the wall, your looks are gone. If that's the only thing you're, you're leaning on is your looks, well, looks are fleeting. <laughs> They're fleeting for everybody. Except for John Stamos, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know that, I don't know why that guy doesn't age very much. Uh, but. You don't want to hit the wall when you haven't locked in a good life partner because, uh, you know, or you're going to just go on your own, <laughs> do your own thing. But the worst you could ever do is decide to do your own thing and then keep ranting, keep hating, keep self-destructing yourself with uh, um, substance abuse and uh, emotional issues, anger. Yeah, it's just not going to work out because uh, at some point, if you keep repeating the same mistakes, you will have the same results consistently. And they're going to be consistently negative. So, and speaking of hitting the wall, Carolyn's RV life, was it a year or two ago? She was complaining how she does not get attention anymore from men. And she was very miffed and upset about that. Because I, I guess I assume, and I'll, I'll grant her that, perhaps when she was young and cute, she got a lot more male attention. Quite conceivably possible. But now, not so much. Pretty much not going to happen. Maybe a few beta orbiters or beta boys, but there are going to be no alpha male conservatives that are going to sign up to have a life with her and pay for her bills. It's, it's not going to happen now. 
And it's kind of sad because she failed to launch. Carolyn failed to launch, and it looks like Unstoppable Morgan is failing to launch too. And I don't know, you tell me if I am correct in my assertion of the training apprenticeship of being a regular Karen, moving to a master Karen in 20 years, because it just seems that there are millions of these ladies all around the world. We're not just talking about United States, Canada. They're, they're all around the world. They're in many cultures, many languages. There are so many of them that instead of them taking a step back and looking at who they are and their position in life and what they're doing, they're refusing to do that. They're doubling down and just continuing on in their training to be a master Karen. And while doing so, they alienate the people who, around them that actually could love them or even did love them. They walk away and go, hey, if you're going to go full Karen all the time, I'm not interested. I don't need the problem. don't need the hassles. So what do you think the future holds for both of these ladies? Is there hope? I would like to think there is hope, but the first step in solving any problem in your life is acknowledging that you do have a problem. I wonder if either of them will have the courage to do so. I have my doubts, but I also have my hope. You put your comments down below and tell me what you think. In the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out. Thank you.